Oh my god, somebody actually gave me permission to record the game. I like being a pirate though. Yar, har, fiddly d. <laughs> being a pirate is alright with me. No, but this game is made by uh, SMU Guildhall Game Development Education. And this is Lorana. So this game was surprisingly well, like super well done. I don't know what's up with these schools making games, but they're all super good. The graphics are phenomenal. You're based, it's like a 3D platformer. The gameplay is like super simplistic, but the main thing is like the nostalgia and the experience you feel while playing it. The music, like the soundtrack is phenomenal. And the, it actually has like a pretty decent story. What you do is you get the water from those little fountains that are pretty like, there's like a plethora of these fountains are everywhere. But you fill up and then you take your little cute frog with his puffed out lips and you spit on other frogs and then they tell you their story. Which is a, it's a really, really well done game. This kind of reminded me of like the Nintendo platformer atmosphere from back in the day. Like rare Banjo-Kazooie kind of thing. The sound is just like super well done. Like I really like their choice in the music that they picked for the game. So this game, your main mechanic is literally the water spitting action that you do. Basically you move around platforms and there's a couple different ways they like implement that mechanic. You have to use it for like the platforms, you gotta use it to move certain... It's mostly used as a medium to like move things around and try to access these frogs. You do not have to get all the frogs to beat the game though. There doesn't seem to be any achievements in this game either, even though it's been out for a little bit. Uh, it's like, it kind of feels like a children's game a little bit, even though it's a really feel-good game. Just because the mechanics are not hard at all. Some of the puzzles are a little bit challenging, but you don't even have to like make jumps in this game. Literally, you run at the edge and it'll make the jump for you. If you don't hold the W button enough, though, it's like I just didn't there, you might not make the jump, but it's not like it's going to set you back detrimentally or anything like that. The game when you're doing these jumps is pretty forgiving too. If you do die, there's not like a certain amount of lives you have and it usually will respawn you in like a pretty good spot. I actually didn't make a jump in one point and then it like respawned me to where I was trying to go. So I was like, ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> Works for me. Shortcut. Let's go. Some of these frogs are a little bit hidden though and like the puzzles aren't super challenging but some of them you kind of have to sit there and think about. There's nothing, I didn't see any kind of puzzles that was going to, like, throw you off enough that you would, like, have to restart the game or anything like that. There's nothing where you're, you're going to glitch it. There doesn't seem, I couldn't find any glitches while I was playing it. And this guy is so cute. My goodness. <laughs> he is adorable. He's one of the best, like, things about the game. It's a really feel-good game. Super lighthearted. The story, it's not super dark or anything like that, but it's interesting. Kinda made me feel bad for Serpiente. I also don't know... I don't feel like it was super resolved at the end either though. Cause I know... I don't wanna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil the story for you, but it just didn't feel completely resolved. After I beat the game. But I love looking at the little frog dude. He is so cute. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Best video game character design. So far in the Steam Free to Play series. I really wanted to rate this game a lot higher than I did, just because like it felt it made it was like super lighthearted, but it wouldn't be fair to the other games going by the criteria that I usually use, because like I said, this game is insanely short, and there's not it's more of a simulator kind of thing, like walking simulator than a video game to an extent. I feel like if the puzzles were a little bit more challenging or like required serious thought or like use of the mechanics in a like mechanics in a challenging way it'd feel more like a video game but this kind of feels like a kids game to me still worth I would definitely 100% recommend playing this game though it's an it's a very nice experience and if you played the old Nintendo 64 games like I was saying it'll give you a little bit of a flashback to your childhood without having to ruin the old games that you used to play where you're just like wow this game sucks now the settings really well done too for what it's supposed to be I think these are like mmm I don't know what kind of god type characters Lorana and Serpiente are supposed to be maybe Aztec 
I don't, I'm just going to assume Aztec. Anything that seems like in this kind of period, Aztec slash Mesopotamia. <laughs> that's my go-to. They sound cool, so that's what I'm going with 100% of the time. But yeah, he's super adorable. Also, I didn't have to do much editing in this because this game is super short. I literally beat it in like 20 minutes without any super challenges or anything like that. Another thing is that makes it feel super simple is that a lot of these frogs that you're supposed to get through through these like puzzles, you can literally just no scope them. Like you can shoot them with the water from like a distance away and you don't even have to figure out the puzzle. Which kind of blows, but if you're just kind of wanting to beat the game, it's not that big a deal. Because you'll still get to beat the game, and it'll just be a little bit quicker for you. It's not like any of the puzzles were like, it's not going to take away like a super hard puzzle from you. There were no super challenging puzzles in this game. I would really like to see, I'm excited for when these students start making like full games. Not even just to the school, but the school in Canada, and like see like the bigger games they make. I would definitely be interested in paying for like a a game like this with like more gameplay to it and more of a story, a little bit more mechanics, a little bit more challenge to it. I'd definitely be cause like definitely would fork up some money for that because it, it was a lot of fun. It, it made me feel good playing this game. Which is like a rare experience nowadays. I don't play many video games and you get just like a really feel good feeling. Like a relaxing atmosphere playing the game. It's nice that the game gives you a little counter in the bottom left as well. So you know how many things you could look for possibly to get. And this game is pretty straightforward. Like you don't have to think too hard about where you're going. Like I never really had to analyze which way I wanted to go. I just started going away and it pretty much took me through the whole game. So it's pretty linear. It's nice every now and then when there's an open world game, but at the same time I want to have an experience like I actually know what I'm doing while playing it. So I don't have to like, m most of the games not just running around trying to figure out what am I actually supposed to be doing. LeBron gets a 7 out of 10 for the main fact that it's a super short game and there's not really many like actual gameplay mechanics in it besides running around and shooting the water you don't even really jump yourself but the game is beautiful it has like one of the best feel good atmospheres i've had in a video game and it really made me feel like i was having fun while playing it even though it wasn't challenging at all i mean it's kind of like a kid game but at the same time i feel like you should play it if you a didn't get that experience when you were a kid playing the n64 games where you kind of explored platformers in the 3d way or if you did, it's a good little refresher, and it looks really nice. So, thanks again for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe. Bye!